Easy digital download. Is it any good? What's up guys, it's Paul from Ecommerce Gold. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing another e-commerce platform for you, well, specifically an e-commerce plugin for the WordPress system. And Easy Digital Downloads is a popular alternative to WooCommerce, especially when it comes to selling digital products because obviously digital is in the name. But is it a good alternative? Well, that's what I'm gonna be looking at in this video. And for this, we're gonna be looking at six different sections. It's gonna be looking at the pricing, the features, the theme selection and customization, the support options, the performance, and finally, a quick overview of how easy this plugin is to use before wrapping the video up with a conclusion at the end. So make sure you stick around because I'm gonna cover lots of different things in this video. So with the introduction out of the way, let's jump into the review. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the pricing of the plugin. Now the core Easy Digital Downloads plugin is completely free to use, but it only adds basic e-commerce functionality to your WordPress website. And we're gonna cover more of that in features in the next section. But when it comes to pricing, there are some paid options when it comes to Easy Digital Downloads. And this is because of the extensions that they offer. But to make it a bit more of a cost-effective way for you to use it, they've created annual passes. And these start at $99 and actually go all the way up to $499. But why is the difference between these passes? Well, it all comes down to the amount of extensions that are included with your pass. So on the basic package, which is the personal pass, you're only gonna have a limited number of extensions. But when you go onto the all access pass, which is $499 a year, you're gonna have all the extensions included for you. You're also gonna be able to use this on unlimited websites. So that is a good feature as well but this is all going to make more sense when we move on to the next section so what features do you get included with the ease digital downloads plugin well it's pretty slim on terms of features as standard this is because the plugin has been designed to basically add basic e-commerce functionality for digital products to a WordPress website. And in the core plugin, you do get the following features. You get a customizable product button. Now this can either go on your product page or you can copy and paste this into other pages on your site. You can also have customers register on your site or they can check out as a guest. You have customer record management so you can go in and access all your sales history. You can have discount codes that are either fixed or percentage based. And you also get the PayPal standards payment gateway included with the core plugin. But this is pretty much it when it comes to features because the plugin is just designed to be a shopping cart. If you wanna go on and customize it, you're gonna to need to install extensions. And this is where these digital downloads can get quite expensive quite quickly. This is because even if you just wanna add two more payment gateways that are pretty common on other platforms, so something like PayPal Express and Stripe, these are two separate extensions and they're gonna cost you $89 each that's annually. So just for two basic payment gateways, it's gonna cost you $178 for the year. And this basically theme goes throughout the Ease Digital Downloads plugin. If you want any kind of features or functionality, you're probably gonna to have to pay. And this is because there's not that many free options out there when it comes to plugins. Even if you search in the WordPress plugin library for Ease Digital Downloads, there's not a massive selection out there, especially when you compare it to something like WooCommerce. Now, there are third-party plugins out there that you can purchase as well. You don't have to purchase directly from the guys at Ease Digital Downloads, but most of these are also paid options. As I say, there's not many free options out there. So this is something you are gonna to have to think about when you're potentially choosing Ease Digital Downloads, is how much are you gonna to have to invest in extensions and plugins in order to get the functionality that you need. So section number three is theme selection and customization. Now, as Ease Digital Downloads has got a significantly smaller user base than WooCommerce, it's understandable that the theme selection is much smaller. Just to put that into context, WooCommerce has over 5 million active installs. Ease Digital Downloads has just over 60,000. So this is a massive difference in terms of user base. But when it comes to theme selection, especially on the free end, Ease Digital Downloads is very limited. If you actually search the WordPress theme library, you'll only get a result of 22. Now there is an additional free theme that's available from Ease Digital Downloads, but this has to be downloaded and then uploaded to your WordPress website. It's not actually available from the WordPress theme library. But 
when it comes to theme selection and you want a selection of good themes, you're gonna to have to go for paid options. Now on the East Digital Downloads website, they do promote 48 paid premium themes, but if you go on Theme Forest, you'll find a result of over 440 themes. So there is a good selection out there, you're just gonna to have to pay for them, unfortunately. But what's it like when it comes to theme customization? Well, with WordPress, it basically comes down to the theme developer how many options they want to put in. Because if they're pretty light on customization options, you're not going to be able to do much to your site. So when it comes to using the WordPress theme customizer, it does come down to the theme developer as to how many options you get. But one thing I don't like with these digital downloads is their lack of Gutenberg integration. Now, lots of people are moving their sites from the classic editor to the new Gutenberg editor because it just gives you much more control and flexibility over your website. Now, they do have their own Gutenberg Blocks plugin, but as of making this video, that hasn't been updated in over nine months, which to me isn't great. And you don't get any Gutenberg Blocks with the core Ease Digital Downloads plugin. It doesn't add any, not like it does with WooCommerce or any other kind of e-commerce related plugin. So this is a bit of an oversight for me because with Ease Digital Downloads, the way I would personally use it is if I was going to create a landing page for a product, I'd want to have Ease Digital Download options so people could check out at the end of the landing page. But this is quite difficult to do and you do have to get a bit creative with existing blocks in the Gutenberg editor, then try and factor in a button or something like that in order to make it work effectively. This functionality is missing from Ease Digital Downloads and I just think it's a really big oversight. So section four is the support options. Now, East Digital Downloads are actually really generous in this. All users of the East Digital Downloads plugin get access to email support, which is really good, and it's more than what you get with a lot of other free plugins. And this support also transitions onto the access pass as well. You still get email support. You don't get any additional support options though, so you don't get any kind of live chat or phone support if you're on one of the paid annual passes. Now this just might be me being picky, but if I'm paying $299 or $499 a year to have an access pass, I'd like some kind of priority support because I'm paying not only for the extensions, but also the support behind it as well. But that's just me, I could be wrong on that. If you disagree with that, let me know in the comments. But for me, if I'm paying extra for premium plugins, I want premium support. So number five is performance. Now, when it comes to testing the performance of a WordPress plugin, it's very difficult to do because there's so many variables that can impact a WordPress site's load time. Things like your hosting, your theme selection, the amount of plugins installed, optimization. All these things play a massive factor in terms of WordPress performance. So to give some kind of benchmark, what I did was I'd done a basic WordPress install installed Ease Digital Downloads and created some demo content. And it actually performed really well because I run my demo site through Pingdom Speed Test Tool and you got a load time of 0.94 seconds, which is actually really good. But this is just a benchmark. As I said, there's so many variables that affect WordPress performance that I just wanted to give you an idea of how well it performs in terms of load times because getting under one second on a basic WordPress site with no optimization, nothing like that, is pretty good. So the last section we're going to look at is how easy is easy digital downloads to use. And I'm going to look at three different things for this. I'm going to look at how easy it is to get started, how easy it is to manage your inventory and then manage your orders, because these are three things that you're going to do with any kind of WooCommerce website. So first off is getting started. Now, as with any WordPress plugin, what you need to do is install the plugin and it's available in the WordPress plugin library. So you just go to add new plugin, search for Ease Digital Downloads, install and activate, simple as that. But what I found when I actually installed the plugin was there was a lack of setup guide. Now I know this isn't included with every single kind of WordPress plugin, but when you're setting up an e-commerce plugin, it would be nice to have some hints and tips of what I need to do in order to get my site set up properly. And I didn't have any of this when I installed Ease Digital Downloads, I was kind of just left to my own devices. So this means that when you first go in, you're gonna have to go through all of the settings manually. There's no prompts to set up your payment gateways or how to configure figure the delivery method. So you're gonna have it sent by email or automatic download, things like that. You have to go through and set that up manually. Now, this is a bit of an oversight for me because just a simple setup guide kind of prompting you on what you need to go and set up would make the process so much easier. But 
once you've actually got the plugin installed, it's pretty easy to navigate your way around because in the WordPress dashboard, it adds a new section called downloads and you have some sub categories here. So you have your downloads, you can add new ones, categories, tags, all things like this. So when it comes to actually integration with the WordPress dashboard, it is pretty good. It'd just have been nice if I'd actually explained what I needed to do when I first installed the plugin. So the second thing we're going to look at is managing your inventory. Now, with digital products, it's a bit different to physical products because there's not as much involved in terms of managing your inventory. But let's go and look at what it's like to add a new product. So you click add new and it brings up this page. Now, anybody familiar with WordPress who've been using it for a while will recognize this layout. This is because it's based off the classic editor, not the new Gutenberg editor, because I've already mentioned his digital downloads doesn't seem to have much integration with that. But the add new product page is pretty simple to use because you just need to add the title there, add the description, set the price, and then upload your file. Now, this is another thing I do just quickly want to cover with Easy Digital Downloads is all of your files are going to be stored on your servers. They're not hosted with Easy Digital Downloads or anything like that. All of your files are going to be hosted on your servers. So if you've got a large amount of files with large file sizes, you do need to be aware of this because it could incur extra costs with your web host in order to be able to effectively store these products and deliver them to your customers. So that is something you do want to check with your web host is how much in terms of data storage do I get? Because even though some list unlimited, it's actually basically fair use. So do just make sure that you're covered with your web host, that you're not going to be going over your limit when it comes to data storage in terms of the files you're going to be uploading. But the add new product page is very simple to use. So you've got sections over here where you can set your download limits. If you just want somebody to download something once, you can do this through this setting. You can then add your image and you've got things like product reviews and things like that. Very simple to use, very simple to set up a new product. But what about when it comes to organizing your inventory? Because even though you've got digital products, you still want to have them in a nice organized structure. Now, East Digital Downloads takes advantage of WordPress category system, which is a very good system. So if you go into categories, you can add a new category and you can choose whether this is a parent or a child category. This makes it really quick and really easy to set up a good product hierarchy. Now, the final thing I'm going to look at when it comes to managing your products is managing your imagery. So this is your actual imagery. How do you manage it? How do you edit it? Well, with digital products, it's not such a major thing because you're not actually having to update stock numbers because in most cases with downloadable products, you've got unlimited amounts of that stock. I know some people will list that they've only got 50 remaining, but with digital products, you generally do have an unlimited amount of that product. So on the all download section, you see a list of all your downloads you've got available. And if you do want to make any edits, what you can do is you can either use the quick edit option that adds a drop down menu and you can go in, you can change the price, you can change the status of it, you can choose which category it's in, change the title, change the URL, and then you just click update and it will update that download for you. You can also do bulk editing as well. So if you select the products, select edit from the drop down menu and click apply, it will take you through to the bulk editor. So you can make updates to multiple products at the same time. So this is really good. It just takes advantage of basically the built in edit features of WordPress, which are really good in general. Now, the last thing is managing your orders. And once again, with digital products, this isn't a major thing. This is because Basically, all of your orders are sent automatically. You can choose to have it sent via email or produce a download link once somebody's gone through the checkout. So you don't have to worry about physically dispatching a product. But if you do want to go in and see your order history, you go into payment history and it will bring up all of the orders that you've currently got. And what you can do is you can resend the purchase receipt if you want to. So maybe somebody hasn't received it or you can go into the bulk options and you can change the status of the order. Very simple, very efficient order management. And so there's not much you need to do with digital products. It's not like having physical products where you need to print off packing slips and things like that. Now with Ease Digital Download, you can also export all your order information. So if you're using something like third-party accounting software, you can export all this order information and then import it into your third-party software, which makes life a bit easier. And to do this, what we do is go into report, go into export, 
and then just export the payment history between the certain dates that you choose. So if you do it on a monthly basis, you'll just set these parameters to the start of the month and the end of the month. That's how quick and easy it is to export the files. It would be nice to have this functionality in the main like payment history options. Um, so you could just export individual orders if you wanted to using the checkboxes, but still having this functionality built in is really useful. Now, before I get into my conclusion of Ease Digital Downloads, I do just want to make a couple of quick requests. The first is if you've enjoyed this video, please smash the like button because it really does help the channel out. Also, if you want to see more e-commerce related content, you can do by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell below. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee and I'll leave a link to that in the description. So Ease Digital Downloads, is it any good? As a basic digital product plugin, it's not bad. But the thing that gets me with the plugin is it can get very expensive very quickly. And basically it doesn't offer any functionality that you can't get with WooCommerce. Plus WooCommerce will generally be cheaper to run. For example, with the payment gateways, WooCommerce offers the payment gateways of PayPal Express and Stripe completely free, where this is a paid option on is digital downloads. So my conclusion is while it's not a bad plugin, it's not the one I would go for if I was going to be building a digital product store. Plus, also in the future, you may want to expand beyond digital products. If you're a musician, for example, you may want to start selling merchandise. You could do this with WooCommerce without any upheaval because it's all part of the plugin. It's something you can easily add. This isn't something you're going to be easily able to do with Ease Digital Downloads. So from a future potential growth perspective, I feel that Ease Digital Downloads is quite limited. So for me, it's not the one I would choose over WooCommerce. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it as always. Stay awesome and I'll see you all in the next video.